What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to set up a moto vlog and in a special unboxing of my new AGV Pista GPRR. Here's some of the things you're going to need. I picked up the media mod for the GoPro Hero 8. I decided to go for this because you didn't have to use the adapter because I didn't want to put something on the side of the helmet. I wanted something a little bit cleaner. I went with the purple panda lavalier mic that's been praised by many moto vloggers. And a particular mount for the Pista GPRR by Ride Tech Moto. Let's see if I can get this in focus for you guys. There you go. And a J hook mount that you can use. So, in order to use this media mod, you're gonna have to take off the door on your GoPro Hero 8, which I'll show you real quickly. There's a little latch that you pull down, lift up, and you just pull away. It separates just like that. So what you're gonna see here is there is a little door. All you're gonna do is pull that latch down, pull out like so, and inside, you can see that's where that's going to mate. Simply slide it in, close the latch. And there's the media mod with your GoPro Hero 8. As I was saying, I went with the media mod over the adapter because I wanted something a little bit cleaner that was basically one piece. And so I'm basically utilizing it for this 3.5 millimeter jack. So I decided to use the Purple Panda lavalier mic. You'll see that it comes with the lavalier mic. This is the adapter that you're gonna have to use because currently the lavalier mic has a TRRS and the GoPro media mod only takes TRS, which is two bands, three bands. So we're gonna need it to be just like that. Comes with a wind muff an extension adapter if you need it. I won't be needing this for my helmet setup. And another adapter for older GoPros, which you can utilize that adapter that I was talking about. Inside is a compatibility guide to show you what I was talking about. We're gonna be going for the TRRS to the TRS. Next, we have the Ride Tech Moto. Pista mount. This is made specifically for the Pista. If you know the front of it, it's super aggressive and no curve mounts can really um, mount to it. So let's take a look at what it looks like. You can see that aggressive curvature right there. And also, I got a J hook so I can get it off of the front so I can adjust it to how I like it and so I can reach the buttons if needed. All right, and finally the moment we've been waiting for, the unveiling of my piece, the GPRR. There it is. Went with the matte carbon to match the bike. Aggressive spoiler.
There's that aggressive chin that I was talking about. That's why I had to get a special mount for it. I wasn't feeling mounting something on the side over here or over here. And then also I didn't want that adapter just hanging off on the side either. That's why I went for the media mod so everything is just sitting right there in the front. Make sure we're centered before we place it. Slightly place it. See how it looks at all angles. Looks pretty straight to me. When you're ready, set it and forget it. Here we go. All right, now that the mount is on, let's go ahead and hook up the media mod with your GoPro to the mount. So one thing about this mount that I don't like is the Allen screw. I want to be able to have adjustability here. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off and put on a th another thumb screw. You can get those from Amazon. Basically, just order a big pack of different thumb screws. You have a large and you have a small. I'm going to go ahead and use the small on the bottom. I'm going to use the large on the top because you have to clear on the media mod this little channel right here. Otherwise, you won't be able to crank it down far enough. So it's got to fit something like that. So let's go ahead and take this Allen off. that on the bottom go ahead and move your mount outward so it looks like that all I did was just flip it out go ahead and mount it in there line up the hole there we go just like that now when you mount it you have all that adjustability, not just from the bottom right here, but also from this angle as well. All it does is slide down, snap in, and now you have all of that range of motion. However you like it, like that. Tighten, facing down. I'm going to leave it loosely right now because we're going to have to get a hold of that 3.5 millimeter jack when we round the cables. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this off and let's start routing the cables. All right, so we're going to have to take apart some of the padding so that we can fit the wiring either along this edge or this edge and then get the lavalier mic somewhere within here. So I'm also not going to be using this and the camelback, so I'm going to go ahead and just take this off already. All it does is just thread out, thread through, that's out. For this portion right here, all you do is lift up both ends. There's a couple of snaps. That's all it does is just slide right in. For the cheat guards, all you do is pop. There's a few buttons. Pop both sides, if needed, whatever side you prefer. All right, so once you've decided which side of the helmet you're going to route your wiring, go ahead and pop that side of the cheek out. I decided that I'm going to go on the right side because I'm actually gonna use a Cardo and that goes on my left side. So I'm gonna clean it up right here. So I'm gonna do is take apart this cheek pad. Just keep popping everything off. On mine, I noticed that I have a zipper right here, which I can basically reach inside this padding and route my mic basically right there. So it's right in front of my mouth. You're gonna have to take off this alligator clip right here. All it does is just pop right off that and then I'm gonna use this dead cat to eliminate any wind noise that may come through the helmet all you have to do is pop it in just so there it is I'm gonna open up the zipper so I can get access to inside of the padding so boom there's the padding I'm gonna try and route this nicely within here. So now you can see kind of the protrusion of the mic right there. 
so that won't go in my mouth or anything like that. I won't have to worry about the dead cat and the little feathers in my mouth bothering me while I'm riding. There's going to be a lot of excess wiring, so kind of lay it out to what you think it's going to be like if you want to go and put the GoPro on and have it all attached basically. So then all this excess, you're going to have to basically neatly stuff it into the helmet through here somehow, whether it be in your padding like I'm going to do or throughout the back of the helmet. So I'm going to attach the media mod and the mic already into the jack. So there's that 3.5 millimeter jack. I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to hook this up like so. So now we need to clean all of this excess. It's got to go somewhere. So what I'm going to do is try and get this as tight, but give myself a little bit of slack if I want to readjust the angle of the GoPro. So I was able to route the wiring really neatly with inside that cheek pad, and I left the disconnect right here to the adapter, so it's super accessible if I want to go ahead and take off the whole GoPro media mod and this adapter. All I have to do is take that off, tuck that little section right here back into the cheek pad, and I'm good to go. So that about wraps it up for my Moto Vlog setup for my Pista GPRR. Hold on, there's something wrong. That looks pretty good. I don't know. That's much better. Alright guys, so finally wrapped up the tutorial on how to install your media mod with your GoPro Hero 8. I'm going to give you guys a sample audio. I'm going to cruise around town so it's not as loud as compared to on the freeway, but I'll rip it on the freeway too. I already did some audio checks and you can definitely catch some wind noise. So depending if you keep it on like raw audio or if you do any post editing to eliminate some of the background noise depending on what program you have available to you. So this is what it's going to sound like when you're post processing riding around town. This is my voice check as I shift through my gears riding through Camarillo. Nice 70 degree weather. And now I'm going to switch back to no post editing. This is what it sounds like switching through gears, riding through Camarillo with this perfect golden hour. See what you want to do, dude. There you go. All right. So riding around town, there shouldn't be too much wind noise caught on the mic. Also, depending on where you put the mic, I put mine, as you saw in my video, on my cheek pad. I'm starting to notice that I'm catching a little bit more wind noise as the air filters underneath the chin curtain. If you put your mic literally right in front of your lips, it'll actually probably help a little bit more with the wind noise as it's right underneath the chin, or should I say, right behind, below, I don't know, above the chin curtain. So it should eliminate even more of the wind noise. Let me know your guys' experience who's running this as well. Okay, so we're gonna hop on the freeway right here and give you guys a little audio sample of what it sounds like as we're going 80 below, 65, 65. Let's let this card. a better sense of what the audio quality sounds like if you're riding through the highway trying to do your guys' moto vlog give you a better sense idea if it's a good or bad idea when you guys should be speaking whether it's on back roads through the city on the freeway there goes a nice Lexus ISF my hoodie strings are slapping my helmet so it looks weird that I have my left hand right in front I'm not holding a lapel or anything <laughs> Trying to, not, trying to make sure that my strings aren't slapping on my beautiful brand new AGB piece of GPRR. If you guys
guys liked the video, don't forget comment, like, subscribe. I'm trying to get the channel going, give you guys some good content. Again, of my 2019 R6 in matte gray. I also have a nice little Jeep I'll surprise you guys with. Let me know what else you would guys like to see. Got some gaming content, play a little bit of COD competitively, a little bit of montages, and just a bunch of other random stuff that I do in my daily life. So again, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys want to see, what you want to hear. And like always, when in doubt, thumb and pinky out. Peace. You been stuck in my head and girl, I really want to talk now. Chill at your place, but every day you will walk out. Uh, okay, cool, can we calm down? Anger and flame, slapped in the face with your palm. I don't know what to do when it's late and I'm tired. And here on my mind, take a hit to feel higher. Text you again when I'm feeling inspired. I recognize I'm reigniting a fire.